In recent years, AMD is making headlines and stealing the CPU market share with their Ryzen processors. They have even made 50% revenue growth over the year of 2016 to 2018. The once underdog now controls more than 30% of overall CPU market share while in a recent study from John Paddy Research shows that about 40% of gaming PCs are powered by AMD processors. But that wasn't the case even a few years back. Intel was dominating the PC market and was preferred by most gamers. But things are different now as Intel is the bleeding king who is losing a lot of customers to AMD, the emerging force that Intel is finding too hard to reckon with. Why is that? Everyone, I'm Nick and in this video, we will explore what's wrong with Intel and the rise of AMD. From a business standpoint, it doesn't seem like Intel is losing as they have generated 19.2 billion in revenue with 31.21% gross profit margin, while AMD recorded 1.8 billion in revenue with close to 44% gross profit margin. But things are much different when taking a closer look. The CPUbenchmark.net reported AMD now has over 31.3% of CPU market share compared to Intel's 68.7% which has risen from 18% last year. While AMD's mobile processor market share has increased to 14.7%, a 3.8% year-over-year rise. Intel dominates the server market with 93% market share and AMD is also planning to take 10% of that market. As AMD increases its market share in all those markets, Intel will be the one end up losing its market to AMD. So why is this sudden yet gradual rise of AMD's market share? Ever since AMD launched its Ryzen processor with Zen architecture 4 years ago, they have been progressing at a relentless pace. AMD has upgraded to their Zen 2 architecture and promising to bring Zen 3 architecture within 2020. While Intel is struggling to add more cores to their CPUs, AMD is bringing more cores to their CPUs at prices lower than Intel. Intel tried to compete with i9-9980XE that could handle better clock speed sensitive tasks thanks to its power core performance and better memory architecture. However, AMD's 32-core Threadripper 2990WX could hold its own for multi-threaded rendering with its sheer number of cores and change the game for Intel forever. Then AMD announced its Ryzen 9 3950X with 16 cores and 32 threads for just $750 with huge architectural improvements and increased clock speeds that made performance significantly stronger than the Core i9-9980XE. All of this was available at nearly third of the price of Intel's processor. Intel, being the market leader in the CPU industry, had the luxury of setting price as high as they could which resulted Intel having more profit margin while AMD was known for low-end processor with best budget. AMD's move forced Intel to launch the Core i9-10980XE with 18 core and cut down the price by half down to $1000. Something they would never have done if AMD had not presented them with such tough competition. So gone the window of skimming the masses, reducing the profit margin. While Intel was trying to convince us that there can be more cores and a smaller process for now, AMD has progressed from 8 cores to 32 cores and moved from 40 nanometer process to 7 nanometer process while making big architectural improvements to cut the gap of IPC. They also refined its manufacturing process of chiplets in an effort to build multi-core CPUs while reducing cost. Meanwhile, Intel was stuck at keeping its position with 14 nanometer plus plus process while scrambling to go for a smaller process. Intel had a goal to bring 10 nanometer CPU by 2015, but year after year, Intel pushed back their deadlines, and now the CPU is expected to arrive in 2020. While TSMC and Samsung already has their 10 nanometer processor which is capable of giving equivalent performance to Intel's 14 nanometer CPUs. The reason going smaller is important as it creates the opportunity for more CPU cores and enables same performance as a larger CPU while consuming less power and generating lesser heat, which is a must have for mobile devices and laptops. With AMD manufacturing 7 nanometer CPUs, we could see more laptops powered by AMD chips. Apart from technological advancement made by AMD which resulted Intel in losing its market, Intel also suffered by supply problem. 
With Intel's CEO resigning in 2018, Intel was in a bit of a supply crisis that resulted in Intel's stock to rise 6% compared to AMD's hoping 83% break. As Intel was suffering with their supply, AMD gained market share by scaling up production of 12 nanometer circuits. But does this mean Intel is done for? Well, no. At least not yet and maybe not in the next few years. Intel still is the market leader and they are still ahead of AMD in single core performance, gaming and many other ways. Sure, AMD is beating them in few areas but Intel still offers better overall performance. And with all softwares in the market optimized for Intel's CPU, AMD processors are yet to provide with stable and consistent performance. Many laptop manufacturers will be bringing their laptops with AMD processor which may give you more cores and threads to operate. But it will be a while for those AMD powered laptops to provide a reliable performance like we get from an Intel powered laptop. And with AMD struggling with software optimization for their processors, Intel will have time to deploy their 10 nanometer CPUs. Ryzen CPUs were winning by a very small margin while losing in some aspect with their 12 nanometer and 14 nanometer chips against Intel's 14 nanometer chips. So with Intel coming up with their 10 nanometer processor could give Intel the performance boost it requires so much to stay ahead of AMD. Although to counter Intel's move to the 7 nanometer processor, AMD has unveiled its plan to move to 7 nanometer process in 2020. Another aspect where Intel is winning by far is the server or enterprise solution market. Intel dominates the market with 92% market share where AMD is only trying to make their way to that market. And it will take AMD a while to catch on Intel, although AMD has a lot of potential there. AMD right now shaping the market with a great number of cores and thread counts in which Intel is struggling. Servers have different kind of processing needs that requires more cores and threads. AMD with their Ryzen Threadripper CPUs has a lot of potential for their server business since they come with highest of cores and thread counts with a more affordable price tag. So it won't be long for AMD to catch up Intel there as well. But Intel is surely the winner here still. Then there is a fact of other foreign market which is still pretty much dependent on Intel's ecosystem. If you want to build a PC, you won't face any trouble finding components that goes well with Intel. However, if you decide to go Team Red, you will be met with lesser option. Especially if you're trying to build a customized PC, then you will be met with much complication in finding appropriate components to build your PC. Now sitting at America, you may think if that is even possible, but in markets like South Asia, finding all the necessary parts for AMD running PC could be hard. However, AMD has been showing dramatic growth over the past years and with this much growth, they will surely address the supply chain issue very soon. So there won't be much of a wiggle room for Intel to enjoy as they will be met with competition from all fronts. They'll be on their toes to keep their position at the top while trying to make dramatic innovation and technological advancement to put them ahead of their competitor. Which could be tough since under the CEO Dr. Lisa Su, AMD is more focused on innovation and advancement. This may be bad for the companies that they will always be trying to one-up each other but a huge win for consumers. For so long, Intel has installed newer innovation and consumers were left with only what Intel provided them. Now, due to strong competition, they will finally get the level of innovation and advancement they deserve. So that was all with what's wrong with Intel and the rise of AMD. Hit like if you liked the video and share with your friends. Comment below to let us know your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.